Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to talk about England. I get too excited. Basically, I was surprised at how different the culture was. We went there to do this documentary on the, on the students and I think I was learning while learning, while learning. It's just like a continuous process. Aside from learning all of the documentary stuff, like being thrown in, just, you know, having a camera, going out and doing everything, I just learned so much about the history of England, you know, getting along with people, just too much to even start. <laughs> the weary travelers are resting now. One hour too many on the long road. To go somewhere and um, experience it really adds to your liberal arts education. It really helps complete you as, as a person, as a student. She may not sleep, but she will know where we are going. And me, your diligent host for the trip. <laughs> it's highly important to go abroad and experience another culture so you can better understand um, the world and how it works. And Hanover College does a great job in offering you that opportunity. It's real tight up here. <laughs> tight, okay. Go on. We had to be there on the production crew and then afterwards if I was the producer I had to go over and make sure I had everything and then I was it was very I had much more responsibility with this than I had ever had before so it was both intimidating and exciting. I'm nervous. You try it first. Just had lunch at the Eagle. It's terrific. We're feeling great. Ready to do some filming again. I think they should make a requirement to take a study abroad class at Hanover when you come in. Just it opens you up to so many different cultural differences that, that are so vital to anyone of any major. Not just the as a communication major, how to communicate with people from different backgrounds, not even just you know, from a different part of the country, different part of the world. <laughs> It was a really good experience, being out of our comfort zone when we were, you know, on the streets and whatnot. It, it was a little bit nerve-wracking. I felt a little bit of pressure, you know, to get exactly what we were looking for, trying to get constant, excellent footage so we had something to work with later on. It was a little bit more of a culture shock than I thought it would be. Even, I was like, okay, they still speak English, how, how, how much is it going to be different? When we got to London, was, there were just people everywhere, different cultures, food, sound. And it was just insane for me. And then when we got in the London Eye and saw all of it from up there, I was just kind of like looking out the window, like, <laughs> just seeing everything and being able to, you know, finally be in London where I've always wanted to, you know, visit and finally being there. Um, friends of mine it was really cool. I think if you're going to start doing a documentary, why not do it at Westminster Abbey, you know? Shooting in Cambridge University, it was just amazing. You kind of are like a fly on the wall and you're getting to see these people experience these like amazing things. I can't even put into words how amazing it was. The BFI Theater IMAX 3D, Pirates of the Caribbean 4, on Stranger Tide, Susan Parker, Brand New World. We're super excited about this right now. I'm so losing my mind. Ah! Yeah, she's already lost it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you on the other side. We'll tell you how the movie is. Check us out on Facebook. Later!